Hey guys, we're here checking in with our buddy Jay Law, who is on a laser focused mission to get dialed in for Loretta Lens. And he's down at the farm with Kevin Windham doing some work. And uh, we wanted to check in. So, Jay Law, uh, it's good to see you. And, and your intro down there was magnificent. You freaking looped out like a pro. Very cool. Yeah, it was a humbling experience. It was great. I rode there. And I was telling you right before we started recording, I'm like, man, and the best part of it is I didn't high five K-Dub before that happened. You know, I didn't say, hey, I'm here, bud. You know, like I just showed up. My phone was dead. I unloaded my bike and rode down there. <laughs> he was at the starting gate. I pulled up. He's like, well, let's get it. I, I said, I'm fired up. I'm definitely getting this whole shot. Dude, 10 seconds later, I was on my butt. I was like. <laughs> I was like, what? I broke my clutch lever off. I had to go back and fix it. I'm like, man, I had to meet like half the, or I got to meet half the kids there trying to borrow parts before I even got to do a lap. <laughs> that is awesome. like, uh, that's a pretty embarrassing moment, but. Yeah, it was killer, dude. It was awesome. awesome. But it gets better, though, dude, each day as it goes. Like this last day, I just, uh, we do like a drill, a cornering drill. You had to stay like to the inside and I totally butchered the drill straight up. I mean, these are like top tier amateur kids that are here, but half of us failed and half of us succeeded and I failed. And then they get to divvy out a punishment and they divvy out the punishment of you got to run a lap of the track in your gear. And oh. <laughs> dude, I did a lap of the grass track in my gear. I made it halfway. I had to take my boots off. I made it the rest of the half. But I'm telling you, like, dude, I didn't come in here with, like, a golden spoon at all. The kids realize that. Um, what's what's much... your lap time on foot down there? It was, uh, I gopro the whole thing because I'm vlogging this whole adventure. It was about, it was about a little shot of four minutes. It was a grass track. I was lucky that day. Dude, it was awesome. It's so fun doing, like, drills and stuff like that. And plus, like, before I got here, I'm looking on the map, you know, like, I'm trying to scope the place out. Like, oh, I wonder how it is. Man, they got the right timing of a photo. You know how your place might look like crap when Google flies over? k must have coordinated it with these guys because all the tracks were rutted up. I'm like, there's no way it's going to look anything like that when I get there. Sure enough, dude, there's probably 10 minutes of motocross track. And I mean motocross track, but they're split up in like three or four tracks. But I'm talking 10 minutes of legit track and then grass tracks, grass turn tracks. There's a jump park, supposedly like a ton of trails to ride. It is insane, bro. There's like hookups. You wash your laundry there if you're staying there. It's next level. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. Uh, I just, not too long ago, was in Louisiana at a, a track called Wildwood, which is just, I think, about 30, 40 miles south of you. And if you get a yeah. chance on a weekend or something, go down there. Place is sick. It's a sand track? Um... No, there's a yeah. there's a sandy section, like one yeah. kind of sandy section, but it's it's like killer, I don't know, whatever that Louisiana dirt is, it's good. Yeah, there was a day that it was supposed to be, well, it actually rained the first couple of days that I was here, and they were talking about maybe going to a sand track. I thought maybe that's where you were talking about, but I don't know how you could leave this place, dude. It's so sick, for real. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's wild. So does K-Dub come out every day and work with you guys? Or does he just pop in here and there? Well, like, all right, before you come here, you have a right to be skeptical. Like, you see the Instagram, like, hey, yeah, K-Dub's riding the bike. Is he really riding the bike? Is he really talking to these guys? Like, dude, he's really riding the bike. Am I dude shy to cameras? You know, like, he's not like, hey, get the camera out. I'm about to do this flattering stuff. Like, no, this is just how he does it. Like, dude, when when there's a corner... He has the guys riding the corner, and this is only my one experience of the day being in the drills. And if someone's doing the corner the correct way, he says, hey, everybody watch this guy. If no one's doing the corner the correct way, he says, hey, dude, give me your bike. And he does it. And then he tells you how to do in it. In shorts and running shoes. He does it, and he does it every time. It's so crazy. It's crazy. And it's wild because the kids that are here, they're young. Dude, and, like, they respect it, but, like, I feel like they just respect it. And this is not, I'm not saying anything bad because they all know that they're here with a great, like, great opportunity. But there's no way they respect it the way that it deserves to be respected because they're just not old enough. 
Like yeah. I'm there and I'm like, what? Whoa, what'd you say? Whoa, yeah. Like I'm GoPro in it, like watching it back. I'm like, this is sick. But it's crazy. I know a lot of the kids gotta be there because um like their dads know, you know, it's easy, but a lot about, of those like, kids how- probably don't even remember him racing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, there's kids like uh, J. Don Cooper's here, and like he trained with Sean Hackley, and that's like my longtime buddy. Like, we traveled, we have like war stories forever. And he's like, Yeah, you know, talking about the Villa Photo thing, he's like, I wasn't really like into watching Moto at that time. And I'm thinking, like, That's weird, you know, like a kid this good at riding this far along, you think he would have been into Moto his whole life. And then I'm thinking, like, No, he just wasn't alive. Yeah, he wasn't born. Or he, yeah, was like, he, wasn't, he wasn't alive. He wasn't watching it because he was in a womb. If something happened, we got old fast, dude. I don't know what went It's wild, dude. I know. It. It's funny. Cool. So what's been like the, the coolest thing about the whole experience? So far, it's just been like maybe the people. Like the people are super cool. Like, I mean... I went there the one day, like, let's say I broke my clutch lever off. I got somebody let me borrow a clutch lever. They might think they gave it to me, but really I'm just borrowing it because I'm going to replace it. And uh, then I'm like, man, I I was tired. I left. I left my tent up there. And I'm like, man, that thing's definitely going to be wrecked from the storm when I go back there. I pull in and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's God's work. You know, my tent's still up. I go over there and like, nah, sure enough, somebody without saying anything, like strap me down with some steaks and stuff. I'm like, yeah, you know, like sick. So it's cool just being around like a bunch of people that are trying to do the same thing. And for me, it's cool because there's some high level kids here and it's like evident to me, like I ain't the top dog. And like, if you're cool with that, that's so good because like you just always get better. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy that like K Dub tried to throw me in the drill. Like I'm making a, a vlog with Verb, but K Dub threw me in the threw me in the drill. As soon as I pulled up, he said, stay. He said, All right, J-Log, get us a cut down. And I said, it's so clear every word that he said when I watch it back on the GoPro. But at the time I was like, man, he needs to speak clearer or something. Like I was just not getting it for me. And I'm like, Oh, what? And then he's like, a cut down day. I'll just stay out of the fluff. We're going for exit. Nice and smooth. Just right here. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, just do what you did. Dude, I pull around. I butcher the corner as hard as you can. I turned around and he like, I like stopped and he's just like, all right, uh, Jadon, Jadon, here, do this corner. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it was so funny. It was crazy, but it's cool. I imagine I'm going to get much, much better at that. Plus, like, we did a five lap sprint moto. And uh, I was thinking, like, there's one kid, Colin Allen, I believe. He's fast. And he started in front of me. We're just facing out and we're doing five laps on this grass track, a sprint moto. I'm like, good, you know, that's like my length. Should be good. I'll be able to sprint this whole thing. Well, I was staying pretty close to that kid. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm doing good. You know, and like he came up on another rider and he didn't even really like care to get around him fast. I'm like, yeah, I'm catching up. I'm like, you know, my elapsed time is great right here. I stopped. I was dead last. Now, I might have been dead last if I if I knew the rules, but I thought I was going for a total race time, you know, so it was a one lap and you had five shots. So just so you know, kids, I'm going to be moving up here quick. I don't even have to get better at riding to do better at these drills and stuff. You're I just, just got to You're still learning yeah. the rules. Yeah, exactly. Hey, it's pretty far out there in the middle of nowhere, huh? Like if I, we didn't go to Kevin's property, but I looked on a map where it was and I'm like, bro, there's no, like, where do you go for food or groceries or like anything? For real, dude, last night we went and ate in the closest town. It's like. Whether you want to go to a McDonald's or you want to go to anything you can get to around here, it's like 30 minutes from where I'm at. Yeah. And then K-Dubs, when I was almost there, I uh, had one more turn to go, and it's his street, and I turn on his street, and it's like six point something miles. And I'm like, I'm like, man, it's a dirt road. You know, I'm like, this is weird. You know, six miles dirt road to get to your property. Like, dang, you, uh, first thing I said to him was like, dang, Kev, you know, you, you know, you value your privacy, huh, bud? He's like, you're out here. And he's like, yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, how's K-Dub doing? Does he seem like he's doing well? 
Yeah, dude. You know, like, he doesn't come around. You see him maybe once or twice a year. He'll pop up somewhere, but. I think he's like, uh, I think he's into this as like a hobby, you know? And I think he gets like a, I think he gets a kick out of, or like fulfillment maybe is the word, out of like helping the kids. But I think he sees, I mean, this place is going to grow, dude. Yeah, it's going to, this place is going to grow because honestly, like, how he doesn't do much media stuff and there's a small, like, presence on Instagram. This place is kind of not known to people. I mean, just the facility that's here and the, just the dirt that's piled up is second to none. I mean, I've been to Club MX, like, I know these other places, I know maybe you don't need this many tracks, but the way the dirt is, the way it's maintained, and how many different things there are, and the way they're willing to change it up, just the track is the, the best that I could recommend. Then you're going to say, you're going to plug in who's going to be your coach. Line them all up, dude. And like, K-Dub is going to be one of the top guys you could possibly pick to be your coach. It's crazy that he's that involved in it. And then... I, maybe all these facilities are the same way, but there's hookups. There's like a laundry house. These kids, like they're all like going out to eat together and stuff. They train together. You know, like they have a whole fitness program that they do. It's structured. I mean, for it's crazy to think like the money, like I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus, but it'll cost you at least 200 bucks to go to a one day riding school of anybody, you know, like any guy with a name. And, like, if you pay that same amount of money, you have your kid here for a week, you know? And it's, like, K-Dub's there four days a week when they ride, Wednesdays all. It's crazy. It's That's sick. Wild. Like, dude, he let me come here, and, and I'm thinking, like, people are like, oh, J-Law, you're so – you're in full bore for Loretta's, dude. Get the title. Uh, you're at their training facility and I'm like dude but I'm not at it I'm not at this training facility so I can better my Loretta's dude I'm at, I'm here because of what it is if I would have got that message and it was reworded and it said hey K-Dub said that if you know you can come right here the week of Loretta's I probably would skip Loretta's you know and I would be here just riding yeah you know so it's sick Loretta's is opening things up for me it's wild here are you getting in on the training with those guys or no? Ah, uh, well, I just had to do the uh, the little run. That was kind of like a training thing for me. And I did that. Dude, it was epic. Like, I had, like, uh, probably, like, 20 people are there watching me. They're, like, videoing me. I'm, like, getting around this track. It was so horrible. On my GoPro, I'm, like, squeaky, 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 squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> but, Hey, me, what about the humidity? I know you're from you're uh, living in Florida now, so it's you're probably used to it a little bit, but it's crushing down there. It's actually worse, man. And I came right from Florida. Now I had this big master plan of I'm gonna sleep in my van. Like my buddy lets me borrow his moto van, and I'm like, you know what? Like I don't have all my ducks in a row in order to go to K Dubs, but like that's not stopping me, you know? I'm like, I'm going in the van. Like, let's wing this. First night I got here, I got to the local Walmart, and uh, I slept in the van. Oh, man. I was like, this fucking sucked. Yeah. As soon as I, dude, I was in there. When I got up from in my van, I remember I was so hot and wet that it looked like someone sprayed me with a hose, and I was like, I had all my stuff loaded down in there, like the Griswolds. So like I had like a crappy bed and for me to get up, I was like falling over and I'm like bashing into the windows and then I have no shirt on and I'm just like soaking wet and like I lit a black and mild and I'm like, the start of this day, I ripped my sun visor open and there was just a police officer sitting right in front of me. And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. My first instinct, for some reason, like, let's be said, I wasn't doing anything wrong. But I, it just startled me. And I thought, this isn't the time to start driving. Like, not only do I not have my seatbelt on, but I'm not halfway dressed, you know, and I look like I'm doing some weird stuff. Well, I just hopped out of the car with no socks on right in a Walmart parking lot and, like, dusted myself off and, like, acted like I didn't even see him. 
got in my car, put my seatbelt on, and fired away. And I was like, oh man, that's not how I was trying to start it with K Dub, you know? Like, hey, didn't make it. But uh, it was crazy. So I got here and K Dub's like, well, so what are you doing, man? Like I told you, I never even got to speak to him. I pulled up in there all like that, had a shirt on, did the loop out. <laughs> came right back to my broken bike it was like i didn't get much done this whole day and then he comes up to me he's like so you enjoying it man i'm like yeah i'm loving it dude it's awesome thanks for having me he's like yeah well are you staying where are you staying and i'm like right here dude hook up number six you know i'm in my van with my tent and he's like well dude kyle swanson the trainer's like well i got a house down the street you could stay with me so now i'm up in a house so pretty sick so i got real like upgraded so that was a big contributing factor into hell yeah i'll stay for the three weeks it would have been it would have been tough rough with it tenting it for three weeks wasn't gonna happen yeah definitely not well cool man well it's just good to get caught up on what's been going on we've been missing you on the site lap and riders meeting stuff but um but stoked to watch you you know i know you're not going back there with this like mission to win a, a plate, like who gives a crap, but it's just fun to see you going through it and all and having fun doing it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Did you do this kind of thing? You just set a goal and then other things kind of take care of each other, take care yeah. of themselves. Yeah. That's right. Uh, man. Um, you got a new sponsor. I see heat wave visuals, huh? Dude, I do. They hooked me up for the red is, that is awesome. Another dude hooked me up, or that I got to say is that Maxima right now, Dogger is hooking me up. I love that. And when you buy Maxima products on the web right now, over $75, free shipping. Bang. Dogger told yeah, me I could promote all right, that. Folks, come on now. Get with it. Free shipping. <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, good to catch up. Let's do it again soon. Uh, maybe before you go to the ranch. I want to right catch on. another update with you. All right, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, buddy. Have fun out there. We'll All see right. you. Bye. Right.